Alfred Lord Tennyson, Idols of the King, The Coming of Arthur. Leodogran, the King of Camelard, had one fair daughter, and none other child, and she was fairest of all flesh on earth, Guinevere, and in her his one delight. For many a petty king, ere Arthur came, ruled in this isle, and ever waging war, each upon other, wasted all the land, and still from time to time the heathen host swarmed over seas and harried what was left, and so there grew great tracts of wilderness, wherein the beast was ever more and more, but man was less and less till Arthur came. For first Aurelius lived and fought and died, and after him King Uther fought and died, but either failed to make the kingdom one, and after these King Arthur for a space, and through the puissance of his table round, drew all their petty princedoms under him, their king and head, and made a realm and reigned. And thus the land of Camelard was waste, thick with wet woods, and many a beast therein, and none or few to scare or chase the beast, so that wild dog and wolf and boar and bear came night and day, and rooted in the fields, and wallowed in the gardens of the king, and ever and anon the wolf would steal the children and devour, but now and then her own brood, lost or dead, lent her fierce teat to human sucklings, and the children, housed in her foul den, there at their meat would growl and mock their foster mother on four feet, till, straightened, they grew up to wolf-like men, worse than the wolves. And King Leodogran groaned for the Roman legions here again, and Caesar's eagle, then his brother king. Urian assailed him, last a heathen horde, reddening the sun with smoke and earth with blood. And on the spike that split the mother's heart, spitting the child, break on him till, amazed, he knew not whither he should turn for aid. But, for he heard of Arthur newly crowned, though not without an uproar made by those who cried, He is not Uther's son. The king sent to him, saying, Arise, and help us thou, for here between the man and beast we die. Chapter 2 